Hi, my name is Amir from eternaljerusalem.com. Today I want to show you one of the most peaceful places in Israel, but it wasn't always so peaceful. This mountain I'm standing on now is called Armageddon. Well, you don't have to be a military genius to understand why this place is so important. I mean, just take a look behind me. This place completely dominates the Valley of Israel, where one of the most important roads in antiquity went through. The way from Egypt to Lebanon and Syria, and also the sea, comes right behind me over there. And not just in antiquity, one of the most important battles of World War I took place right here behind me, where General Allenby defeated the Ottoman army and opened the road to the British army. This place gave General Allenby the nickname General Armageddon. For 4,000 years, this place has been a place of dispute. Many wars were fought right where I stand now. Pharaohs fought here, kings fought here, generals fought here, and some say the biggest war ever in all of man history will also be fought right here in the hills around me now. Although the city of Megiddo was a very serious and powerful fort in dominating this area, it had one very big flaw. Right here in the middle of uh, basically a desert, the Israeli desert, and most of Israel is a desert, so high above the ground, they had no water. And therefore, if this place would have been sieged, that's the end of everyone here. However, the people of Megiddo had a very serious trick up their sleeves. It's called the Megiddo Water Factory. Water was all, always an issue in the desert, especially in a military fortress like this. Behind me, in this huge hole, we will look at the way the people of Megiddo solved their water problem. What the people of Megiddo have done is they carved the hole very deep into the ground. And remember, they didn't even have steel or anything like that in those days. And they went very, very deep, but they did not reach water. That was not the purpose. They went so low under the city where they could now carve a tunnel far, far away outside the city walls, under the ground, until they reached an underwater water resort. This place is where the tunnel meets another tunnel. However, this tunnel is completely straight. Now we're no longer going under the ground, downwards. Now we're walking towards the end of the city, where there's a small reservoir of water. Can you imagine yourself walking like the ancient uh, Hebrew warriors walking underground not knowing whether the enemy has exposed your tunnel or not every day walking to bring precious water to the city 